Hey, so if any of you um, had the same problem I had, I uh, I put these levers on, these shorty levers, or if you uh, maybe you got in an accident and your lever broke, one of my levers broke, and uh, maybe you just switched them out, maybe there was, maybe something came loose, I don't know, but your bike wouldn't start. Your bike wouldn't start, and uh, you didn't know why, and then... You know, you'd say you the brake lever, but you had the clutch lever over here, and you had to um, fix fix your lever, and you put it back on, your bike wouldn't start. And you did some research, and you found out about the clutch switch. If you had a carbureted bike, you could just short it out, short the clutch switch, and you're good, but fuel injected, it messes it up, and it gives it the wrong fuel map, like it's in neutral, and it's a big issue, so... I'm going to show you what I think is the ch the cheapest, easiest, best hack to fix that without um, affecting your fuel map and having any problems afterwards. Um, and here, let's go. So, there's my clutch. Let's see this, so take this off right here. Alright, so the way you set up, some of you are gonna have a little, so you, well, a little switch. Like you write down here, right down there, that it'll um, tell when the switch is released. When the clutch comes in, it will release the switch, and uh, that will let the switch right start. It's gonna be right under here, back here, and then you press it in, and it releases it, and then it comes to the bottom, you press it in, you know, it releases it. Come uh, so on. The way my setup is on this SP65 is right, mine is right in there. Right in there. You can't really see it, but you know, there's a little spot in there that it tells the, uh, you know, it moves it, the, um, the lever's supposed to move it, it moves the clutch switch, boom. You know what I mean? Anyways, so the clutch switch plug is right there. Focus on that. That's the plug, that's where the clutch switch plugs into. Okay, the plug that plugs into it is right here. Now I have it. So, okay. Boom, so that, that plug right there plugs into And that right there plugs in to plugs into this right next to it, okay, and that's how your clutch switch works. So it tells the engine, boom, and then those those thing those two uh, when you press the clutch in, it connects to those two bars, and that's what makes your bike start. What makes that fuel map come, fuel map come in, where it tells you more uh, more gas in the engine, so it's installed or something. I don't know some some reason. Alright, so okay, now this is how I fixed it. Now, does, so this thing since this thing doesn't activate the clutch switch, what I did, and I was thinking, alright, well I'll just short it out. I could have just shorted it out, but if I shorted it out, it would give the false fuel map, and I didn't want the false fuel map either. So I was like, how can I, you know, for a minute, I was shorting out, I'm 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 shorting Come off the bottom of it, you can get them at AutoZone. That like just like that right there. You know, boom, just like just like those right there. And then I take my clutch switch plug and instead of uh instead of plugging it in Okay. Then, um, with this, I put this, oh, I'm gonna put it off and go run. See if it works. Let's see if it works. Go ahead. Alright, alright. Switch on, switch on. Oh, no fuel map. See that? See how I do that? And then you gotta leave it off so it doesn't give you that false fuel map. If I try to start my bike like this, it won't start. Hit the button, hit the button. Hit the button off, hit the button off. 